So we want to make a self-driving go-kart that can go as fast as possible and even as fast as a human driver. So first step is to like make everything electrified, and second is to add all the um, all the sensors and uh, and computers controllers on board, so that they can be controlled by a central computer. Then it's like writing all the software so that it can go autonomously. So our work at Fen is to build reference designs for software-defined vehicles, and uh, that allows the software to make all the control decisions on these platforms. And then we share that as open source software. This means that anyone can adopt it. It's very well documented. The code is uh, shared with them. And then they take that design and they develop it to the next level. So the, the software that we share is based on the AutoWare stack. And that allows us to share very well with you know, several hundreds of partners. And together with AutoWare, these have been deployed in uh, full-size buses in Michigan uh, and robo-taxis in Tokyo and so many more deployments. It just shows that the power of open source allows many people to collaborate together on a very complex problem like autonomous driving. How do we know what is around us? In order to know that, uh, the go-kart is equipped with LiDARs and cameras. LiDARs essentially like uh, shoot out light rays and give us a point cloud data in order to find how far an object is from us. So once we know that, the next step is to kind of localize ourselves. That is, where are we in a certain position? But the complexity here is that since it's a high-speed vehicle, we have to take into the dynamic constraints and model accordingly. So one of the big questions when we focus on driving here is that we focus on autonomous racing. This means that we are pushing the vehicles to their limits of handling. What we are looking at is uh, this balance between safety and performance uh, of you know, agility and restraint. So if you're too conservative, then you're too slow and you lose the race. But if you're too aggressive, you crash and you're out of the race again. We, in our research, are trying to learn what is the driving behavior? What is the intention in the mind of the other drivers? And then once we learn that, we have a very good estimate of how they're going to drive and we can outcompete them. Working with people from various backgrounds even helped me better understand what I'm doing and also what the system is doing, the behavior of the system. Because even if the software is doing its job perfectly, if there's something wrong in the, like, the lower level uh, controller, the car could still exhibit like, bad behavior. So having like a um, multi-interdisciplinary team, uh, I think definitely help us achieve building this autonomous system. Rahul's been so far the best mentor I have had. So he's like given us the full freedom to like explore with any any sensor and any doubt we have, he's always there. Woo! Working with Rahul, I think that's one thing that I learned a lot about a project, how to like know the system as a whole and be able to deploy like softwares that are uh, that can be used right now. So I think I like autonomous systems in general because Personally, I don't know how to drive. I'm counting on it to become like fully autonomous. <laughs>